And we, we talked earlier in the, the first panel this morning about things of the internet and things on the internet. And when I look at uh, the globalization of the internet, if you go back uh, to Leonard's talk of you know the first message being low, uh, you know it was uh, ASCII. You know it wasn't even the full Latin character set. No less Chinese, Tagalog, or uh, any number of different character sets. And yes, you know thanks to the work of like John Clenson and people like that, we have now many different uh, character sets that we can uh, present information in. Uh, we have a lot of technologies available now on the internet uh, as internet infrastructure for uh, speech recognition, text-to-speech, uh, because not everyone, you know, we, we say there are some fundamentals. People need electricity, people need a phone, and in fact, you might offer for the internet that many people think of today, they need to be able to read and write, and uh, not everybody can read and write. And we even uh, have a lot of work in the ITF that was finished actually a while ago on international domain names. So we have all of this infrastructure of the internet. Now this next level is on the internet, is uh, how do we encourage people to either make their content available uh, to, to a more global audience and have the different local regions generate their own content in their own languages, character sets, and cultures.